Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about editing tools. And as we go along, we'll also pick up some tips on designing social media sets. So let's jump right in. When creating social media content, knowing your audience is key. You want content that they will connect while maintaining a consistent brand image. The secret? A combo of eye-catching visuals and punchy words. For instance, Jews and news, short, clear, and intriguing. But remember, we're still missing the visuals. That's where our editing tool comes in. Ready to get started? Alright, let's start with the eraser tool. It's exactly what it sounds like. A helpful tool that lets you get rid of anything you don't need in your design. Let's say I want to erase an area but have a stroke around it. Here's what we will do. We will select the rectangle, turn the stroke on, and simply tap on that eraser icon. Did you see that slider that popped up? That's your key to finding the perfect size. After choosing the right size, simply move the stylus over the area you want to remove. Here I added dashed lines as a guide. And just like that, we reveal the little surprise I place under the rectangle. Easy peasy. As you can see when we apply stroke, it created a nice fine line around the erase area. We needed this small detail to maintain consistency in our design. There's still something we need to do here, so grab the note tool. You're going to find this tool to be incredibly handy for tweaking your designs. Here's what we do. Just tap on the background rectangle, and now you see all our notes in all their glory. Did you notice the notes have different colors? The green note is our starting point. The blues are midway markers. And the red one signifies the end note. Hit the open shape button, and you will see the path between the first and last notes part ways, giving you a clear view of them all. Now, every note comes equipped with two handles. And depending on the type of note, these handles will behave differently. There are four note types to get familiar with. You can easily identify which one you're dealing with by tapping on it, which activates a content aware option at the top of the style tab. You will see names like single, symmetric, asymmetric, and disconnected. To see the difference between them, you can switch the node types by tapping on these node options. Here's a cool thing to try. Move one of the nodes higher so you can see the changes more clearly. First up is the single node. This one is a loner. It has no handles and makes sharp corners only. No curves allowed here. The symmetric node is next. True to its name, it has two opposing handles. Move one, and the other one mimics its movement. Then we have the asymmetric node. Its handles also oppose each other, but they like their independence, and can be moved individually. Last but not least, the disconnected node. Notice how sharp the edge becomes with this one. When you move its handles, they move independently, even their angles. This node is a master at creating sharp edges. Now that you met all the node types, let me share a neat trick. Double tap on a node and it magically transforms into an angular node. Double tap again, it reverts back. Plus, you can use this double tap action to close paths. Lastly, let's explore how to manually add and delete nodes. Tap on the pad and a fresh node pops up. If you want to remove nodes, just select one or more and press delete. You can find this button on the top toolbar here. In some situations, you could also use the add or delete buttons under the style tab to alter nodes. This can be a clever way to simplify an object by removing nodes or adding more detail by introducing new ones. But for now, let's stick to adjusting our nodes manually. So let's undo and give those edges some finesse to make them look even more polished. Alright, let's move on to the next step where I will show you how to use the scissors tool. Our goal now is to add some nice details and give the erase area more depth. We can achieve this by incorporating some arcs around the shape. One cool way to do this is by cutting out pieces from a circle, which we'll create using the shape tool. By the way, if you haven't checked out our previous episode, I recommend taking a look to learn more about the shape tool. Alright, now that i finished drawing my circle, I'll grab the trusted scissors tool. You can easily add two nodes wherever you want with a simple tap. And just like that, our little arc is separated from the circle. Currently, the corners of the arc have a sharp cut but I would like them to be more rounded. You can make this adjustment by tapping on the three dotted icon and switching to the rounded cap option. Let's adjust it using the note tool. And then make a few copy of this. After tweaking the notes to achieve the desired look, our design is now complete. Different social media platforms require different image sizes, but don't fret. 
Here's a quick way to solve this. Head to the Layers tab and tap on the plus button. From there, select New Artboard. Then pick Social Media from the drop-down menu. Now you have a list of size options to pick from. Want to personalize it? It's easy. Just double tap to rename it. You also have the option to change its coordinates, measurements, or fill color. If you want, you can even add a grid. Now that we got that down, I will create one more artboard to add the adjusted designs. And the fun part. Let's see how this will look on screen. Here I prepared a mock-up for you. And with that, we wrapped up this episode. In our next session, we'll continue to explore our diverse set of drawing tools. Stay tuned for more. Bye for now.